A foiled drug smuggling attempt has UTRGV Brownsville students more aware on campus. The suspected smuggler got away from Border Patrol agents. Channel 5's Daisy Martinez is in our Cameron County newsroom with what campus police are doing to restore a sense of security. Daisy. The campus police chief tells us the alleged smuggler ran into a busy parking lot adjacent to the border. Students we spoke with today tell us they shouldn't have to be worried about these types of activities and they want more police presence. Parking lot B1 at the UTRGV Brownsville campus has a constant flow of students coming and going. It's also just feet from the Rio Grande and a portion of the border wall. UTRGV Police Chief Raul Munguia tells us on Monday a group of alleged drug smugglers were arrested in the area. One got away from Border Patrol agents hiding out in this parking lot. Students received this crime alert letting them know what happened. Jennifer Martinez is still on edge. There's been incidents where they do hide in between the cars. And you just have to, I guess, just be watching, looking, and be aware that it does happen, not say, oh, well, we're at school. No, it can happen anywhere. The crime alert described the suspect as a 17-year-old male wearing a blue shirt and jeans. Azul Barrientos is concerned about smugglers using this as a tactic near campus. Yeah, you throw on a backpack on him and he's just another student walking around campus. Chief Munguia says this is a tactic they are well aware of. He says they have a strong partnership with the Border Patrol to try to minimize these types of events on campus. It's a unique situation, he says, since UTRGV Brownsville is the only campus in the nation located right along the border. Authorities are always watching this area. The students that probably don't realize is along the border fence we have uh, security cameras and we do monitor those security cameras and also we share that view shed with the Border Patrol. He adds there are plans to add more officers including officers on bike and on foot. It's going to give us the ability to shift our schedules to where uh, certain hours of the day you know when we have our peak times uh, as far as students uh, here on campus that um, we're going to uh, be able to significantly increase the patrol officer presence. That's good news for freshman Brian Ponce, who has noticed some of the most recent safety improvements. They just barely put the, um, the fences, mm -hmm. and I think that was, that was a good improvement, but I don't know, I, I believe we need more cameras or something, because it's, well, to be having that, that kind of activity inside the university, it's not, it's not proper. He says students need to focus on their studies, not if they'll be safe when getting to school. Chief Munguia says if students ever feel unsafe on campus, they can contact campus police who will escort them to their destination. He's also urging students to report any suspicious activity. Live from the Cameron County Newsroom, Daisy Martinez, Channel 5 News at 6.